completing quests, stymieing your enemy, finding paths to victory. This is Legendary Tactics. So we're going today to play a game of Lords of Waterdeep, a fantastic game that uh, really has tons and tons of layers of strategy to sort of work through. So um, today we're going to be playing with a average and a cunning AI, and we're just going to sort of walk through this game here. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, you'll get this first card. Um, so basically we're going to be getting six points, I believe, I just double check that. In a game, you score six points for each building you control. Okay, so we are going to be wanting to control a lot of buildings and going for the Builder's Hall. So this is kind of a unique game. I haven't actually ever played this as my by my foundational quest. Uh, you're going to be getting quest cards. You're going to be getting intrigue cards, which are cards to help you benefit and also cards to... Um, uh, stymie your uh, opponents potentially as well. So right away I'm going to go to the Builder's Hall and I am going to purchase... Uh, so the red there means that it's worth one VP and then of course the ability... So this one here when someone takes it they will get a card of their... or a, a, a color of their choice plus two dollars. Those little squares are dollars and I will get two VPs plus the six that I just got for building that. So that's great. I'm going to try in this game actually to go something very different, a very different strategy. I'm going to actually try to go with a complete money train here and not worry about anything except for the money train. I will, let's see here, um, I'll just take one card here, it doesn't really matter which one it is. I'm going to take a look at my intrigue cards real quick so I can do that and uh, yeah, I'm going to go total, total money and... Uh, just get some money. Speaking of money here, we need to be able to buy the next. Um, oh, I did take that out. I mean, nuts. Okay. So they will be getting some money too. Well, I can take a quest card for $2, and maybe there's something in there that'll help me with money. There is, in fact, the Arcana one here. So we'll do that one, and two Intrigue cards would also help. So I'm not really... Normally, you're very concerned with the... Uh, the uh, the type the subtype of each of those uh, those uh, quest cards in this case with my uh, my hidden quest I am not I'm just going to be oh there's some more VPs coming my way excellent all right oh and they got into the okay uh, so let's see what the, that's going to be one quest I am going to try to complete here. That stone hall would be really, the stone house would be really nice to build, and I'm going to be able to build it uh, this coming turn. Arcana, so uh, I need to get two blacks, two purples, and a, a orange of anything yet. But that's really, like I said earlier, my game is going to be a total power play for uh, the builder's hall and for money uh, in order to keep building in those builder's hall. So, um, which of these is a better one here? When purchased at the start of the round, place four dollars. So they get two, four. I get two. Um, this one's good, but not right now. So let's take this one here. Someone really wants money. There's going to be money to be had. Well, that's fine. And now I'm up to twelve uh, VPs just for those two already. So that's great. Okay. So I do want to start considering the uh, things I need for my... Let's throw down a card here for an Intrigue card. Let's drop this on them. We're going to be getting some Intrigue cards, at least one. There we go. To get one, and we or cleaned out some of them. Oh, another purple. Okay. That's fine. Actually, what is that other one? Maybe that can... Uh, take one purple from the supply and place them in the tavern for each opponent. Can choose to do game girl. Score five VP. Oh, might be an interesting uh, play to do as well. We'll see if any of them are going to bite on that and give me so oh, they won't. Oh well, it was worth a try. Okay, and I get to go again here. Um, let's get another entry card and let's keep rolling with options. This card and 
uncompleted score six. Each opponent can choose to do three. All right, well, that's fine. Four dollars. I have one more play to do here. Um, that Arcana one. What was that Arcana one I was interested in? Two purple, two black. Oh, yeah, lots of money and lots of... All right, well, we'll get a purple. Then we got to satisfy our purple requirement for that. I will be going first here. So I'm not overly concerned at this point about how low I am. The Builder's Hall I'm going to have to do right away. I want to do that. Uh, take the Ambassador at the start of the turn. When purchased, uh, place three VPs on this space. Take and score all it's in the space. And play. All right. Or uh, more money. Well, now that there's three, that gains a little more respect on that front. Okay. Someone is surely going to be taking that $8, I'm sure. Oh, not yet. Wow. That could be me. You know what? I don't want them taking it, so I will take it. Okay. They took the other one. That's fine. That's good. Okay. Let's play one of our cards here. We can take two. We will give them the chance to uh, unload some of theirs. Oh, neither of them do. Interesting. Okay, well, I generally always go for that option. Okay. Luckily, I only needed one to complete that quest, so that's good. Um, eight dollars. Let's uh, let's get another intrigue card here. What's this one here? Uh, once at the start of the each round, take the supply. Okay. Spread the wealth. Oh, all right. We'll keep spreading wealth here. I definitely want to corner the market on I I. I I had, like I said earlier, never tried this strategy where I'm going all in on the, uh, um, all in on the money and the building uh, technique here. We'll see. Oh, I should have done that one. But that's okay. Actually, I can undo that. Maybe I will. Let's undo that and redo it. I don't want that one per se. Oops, that's the wrong one too. Go to Builder's Hall here. Yeah, we'll be giving them some bonus, but okay. Don't really need the uh, the cubes at all. So, although getting that too would be good to complete that one quest, the Arcana quest. Give myself some more money and two intrigue cards, and hopefully something that'll score a decent. Uh, Two from the supply. Okay. Actually, you know that skull duggery one might be kind of a nice one to to snafu if I can grab it. Even though I don't have a lot of income as far as uh, cubes goes, 25 points it might be something to work for for the whole game. And really, my main strategy, like I said, is just going to be getting um, getting the building engine going there. We'll see how well that can happen. Pretty unique strategy, though. I, I have to sell there. You can take some more money and choose one opponent. Discard an unplayed request card. Score six. Let's do that one. Why not? Okay, let's get rid of one of our quests that we do not need. Um, gives a ton of. Oh, there's a piety one we can actually work towards. So we don't even need that arc. That skull duggery per se. You can just start collecting uh, uh, black cubes and white cubes, and we'll have the money, no problem. Oh, 
Oh boy, we're not going to be going first next turn. Well, it had to happen at some point. Um, hmm. Could take a lot more money. We do need some black. Um, hmm. Wouldn't mind another intrigue card though. So let's go up here and take that another intrigue card. Let's keep rolling the dice with that. We'll, we'll take um, let's take this skull duggery here. Something to work toward. It's so strange not going for cubes at all. It's such a weird feeling, but uh, now that we do have a couple of major quests we can start to fulfill, it might uh, might change the the tune a little bit. So we'll see. Oh, and it looks like I'm going to be able to still get my builder's hall in there, which is excellent. We'll do that. Um, do that one as well. Take four for that. That's totally fine with me. Just wish there were some bigger, uh, larger scoring points there to be had. That's a rather small fry. It is hard to get an edge in on any of the cube tiles. Well, that's okay. I've got a lot of, well, a lot of intrigue cards here that can give me some. Oh, so much for that. Yeah, it's gonna score me some points. Let's get a. Let's get a place at Waterdeep. We'll throw down the purple here. Start the purple rolling. Oh, we do have to give it to somebody here. Let's give it to this fellow here. He seems to be losing in points. I want the other one to get too high ahead of me. Alright, so we're at four. Um, let's see what we have. We do have one more option to play an intrigue card here. Oh, we could take two from the supply. That would be helpful. Why don't we do that one? Take two of those. And again, we'll give it to the low low man on the totem pole there. Oh, uh, we are now in the second, second place here. I don't like that too much. Let's see how our quests are lining up here. So we've got all the white we need for that piety enough money although we might be able to might need to get some more money so why don't we just go and take eight dollars that will give us plenty of dinero moving forward and okay lots of money now that's great okay another two points that passive income is just rolling for us quite nicely all right what turn are we on here we have one more turn here to play and we definitely need some black tokens here um, why don't we take an intrigue and uh, I want to go first again here. We got lots of money to play with, so let's, uh, okay. One more card to play again. Jeez Louise, let's go for another intrigue card. Uh, oh, there we go. That's a neat one to have. Uh, although it's kind of late in the game for it, but that's okay. Mid. Mandatory quest. Well, we might be dropping that on our uh, leader there. Start. Uh, okay, six turns. So we only, we're down to the last three rounds here. This is uh, flying by here. Interesting. I thought I took the castle water deep, but I guess the, um, the other ability there trumped me, which is fine. That's not really a problem. Let's go into here and play. Um, Hmm. This is worth three VPs. Let's take that one. Okay. Oh, that's a good one to get there. That's the one I've been waiting for here. If we can get that one in. Oof, just had enough. That's good. Okay. Got a lot of intrigue cards here. Um, take two from the let's give that mandatory quest out here let's oh they're both actually now rising the ranks all right that's the one I'm kind of worried about though they seem to have blasted ahead so let's uh hmm 
Alright, let's take some orange. And we'll give it to this fella. Oh, you wanted more orange. Okay. Really have been sort of st stalled here at, uh, although we are st standing. Oh, how did he buy that? Darn, I wanted to do all the buying this round, this game, but uh, that's okay. Um, we can take the more orange if needed. Why not do that then? Uh, we're fine for money. Okay, let's see here about going into... Hmm, let's get another quest card here. I'll take... Um... Let's look at the big points here. Let's take uh, one of these ten bangers here. And draw one building from the stack and play it into the... Oh, okay. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, they're giving me a mandatory quest. Well... That is unfortunate. I believe that was to me. Oh no, that was the card I drew. Okay, never mind. That's the card I can dole out to somebody else. Much better. Okay. Um, well, I have a feeling we're going to be spending a lot of money coming up, so let's take some more cash here. All right. Two more turns to go, and I would like draw one building from the stack and put it into play under your control at no cost so that's the one I definitely want to ensure we get this turn um, that's two whites and two purples and two blacks well you know what well, blacks are very tough to get right now I'm gonna just go ahead and take that black one while I can I do need one single white one. I'm going to risk that I can... Oh, the mandatory quest has been fulfilled. Okay. Oh, okay, good, good, good. I just need that one white to be left intact. And then... You know what? I can risk it here. We're going to risk. We're going to risk all the caution to the wind here. Um, well, this is interesting. It's worth more VPs and costs less. I don't get that. It seems like it's a half decent card too, but okay. Take that. It's interesting. What are my abilities here? Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can play also into the uh, Water Deep Harbor. If it might actually be a better play for us. We can use one of our cards here. We'll take. Uh, a white, and uh, what's another one we could use here? Oh, always black, I suppose, here. So we'll use white and black. Four dollars, we can play this commerce card. The appropriate time, there we go, play it. And we can throw another one down. Okay, that's the one we have in play. Perfect. And right away, we're getting some some hits on it. That's good. Okay. So, we are definitely coming near the end here. Let's put another mandatory quest on somebody. Who is coming out here? Oh, yes, definitely Auburn's Iron Fist needs to be kept in place here a little bit. I'll stymie them for a little longer. And uh, let's see here. Perhaps we 
want to. I'm sure that we're going to go first next to... Oh, someone just took it on me, but that's okay. They'll give me some VPs for the... For the privilege. No pro oh, the mentor request already got played. Darn, that was quick. Okay, now we are coming up to quite rapidly end of game here. I believe we're on turn seven, so there's only one more play. I'm gonna start thinking about what we want to do here. I think I might actually just go ahead and take. Uh, don't need money, but I could use another resource of something here. Let's see what we are going to aim towards here. We've got uh, five. Oh, if we get the white, we could already get the uh, the warfare one there. That's a decent amount of points. Um, it's probably our best bet at this point. Get that warfare one down. Gives us another eight. Plus, if we can get, it, if we can somehow get another warfare, uh, well, we might be able to pull one out of here. Is it, oh, there is no warfare. Well, we will get an intrigue card, and maybe something simple like this one here would be very uh, achievable. Another arcana. Okay. And is there anywhere where we can get? What do we need here? Does a white help us? Uh, purple. We need that Arcana down there. Purple, purple, orange, orange. Nothing there of value. There is another purple that we could. Okay, we are coming down to brass tacks here now. Turn eight, last round. We're going to see if this strategy actually had any uh, dividends to be paid. Oh, well, we're definitely doing okay on the money front there. That is not a problem. I'm thinking right away I want to go into and get that Builder's Hall. What is my other... Um, return one of your assigned workers to your pool. Perfect. So I think what we'll do here is we'll go with um, Builder's Hall. And we will build uh, this one for... 2 VP or 2... Uh, so if someone does take it, we will be getting our completed option with that orange. Oh, that's another good one there too. Okay, so we'll see what uh, there is. To, oh, there's an orange right there. So there's that completed quest uh, for the Arcana. Uh, yep, that will do quite nicely. Maybe we should go for this Warfare one here too. This will also be a rather simple one to get. And I wanted the Intrigue card mostly. And we can also play the Arcana. Okay, so we'll score that while we can. Another nine points. We are kind of neck and neck here with the other two opponents. But what they don't know is that I am rolling in it as far as these uh, buildings. So that's going to be the make or break, I think, here. Let's see if we can't pull out a victory through uh, building and money econ here. So, uh, rather unique setup here. Now, if I go in and take... Um, hmm, I could get that Warfare one almost completed. I could spend $2. What was the... Uh, what were my... Take two blacks... Return one of my assigned workers, which I will do in the end, but I think right now we will, uh... Oh, there we go. That's the exact one I need, I believe. And there's the Warfare one paid for, and full. Now, that may have been a mistake. I did see another one pop up. I didn't see which one it was. It may have been that zero, though, so I'm not too interested in that. Okay. You know, even for not really focusing on quests, to have five completed is still... Pretty good, uh, pretty good work there. So no one's gone for any harbors yet on my last turn. So I will take that for now, and we will play uh, this one here. We'll see if anyone dares to try and snipe me on it. Uh, it is, oh, and I could play this one here to no avail though. I don't really see a point, so we won't do that. Um. 
If I can get two black, and that's what I would really need. Is there any available of two black? Any possibility here? Oh, they did take it. Darn it. Well, it was a try. Okay. So that is really unfortunate on a couple fronts. Um, anything in the pile there? Oh, oh, piety I can score right away. Um, may as well take uh, this one here and do this. Can I get that warfare? No, I can't. But the piety one, definitely, right away. Well, it should score up immediately. There it is. For eight. I will score that. And bring us to 106 with a nice advantage there. Um, anything near? Well, this is about as near as I can get with one of the three. It's going to be pretty uh, tight. Tall order there. I don't think I have many cards left or men left. One to be exact. Uh, I think at this point it may be beneficial to just get some more money. Let's see what happens here with a little bit more cash under my pocket. And we come to game end. So not much money in the way of cubes. Two. Money should give me a bit of money there. A bit of points. Ten. Very good. We'll take that. And under the quests, this is where I'm hoping to really generate nine. Fifty-four points. Wow. That's a healthy, healthy margin. Okay. So next person up. Getting a bit of cash there as well. Not bad at all. Eleven. And how did they do for their quests as long as they... Oh, that's, no, that's fine, that's fine, okay. 140, and we come down to the Masked Lords. Six points plus, how much for gold did they have? Oh, 12 more, okay. It's going to bump them up to 113. They're going to need a fair chunk of quests. Oh, and four, that will not do it. So, there it is. Winning by building. Very cool. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video of Lords of Waterdeep, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and this is Legendary Tactics.